So in workflow six, we talk about the transition from formative assessment as teacher tool to formative assessment as a tool for metacognitive skill building for students. So typically, you know, teachers are collecting informal data all of the time. And often we use that data to differentiate, right? We're trying to figure out where are kids in their learning journeys and what might they need from us to continue making progress. And so that formative assessment data is invaluable at supporting learners in kind of continuing to make progress. A lot of teachers are putting some of that formative assessment data into grade books. And we would like that not to be happening because really that is just data for us to differentiate effectively and hopefully data for learners to start to understand themselves as learners more completely. And that's where using formative assessment data as a metacognitive skill building tool is, is kind of our focus in this particular workflow. If we're collecting data, that's great information for us so that we can be nimble, but we also want to figure out how do we share it with learners and then support them on taking that information about their progress and doing something meaningful with it. So what would it look like to act on feedback about their work that's in progress? How do we build reflective practices around their formative assessment data? How do we get them engaging in self-assessment so that it's not just the teacher looking critically at the student work and the teacher thinking about the student's learning and their progress, but it's really the student bringing that critical eye to their work and trying to understand what am I seeing in my work? And what is this telling me about myself as a learner so that I can be that expert learner who can advocate for myself and say, you know what, I think I might need more support here, or it looks like I'm not making progress over here. How might I kind of shift that and, and do something different so that I am making progress? We discuss a number of different strategies, kind of like before the formative assessment, kind of, kind of during and then after. Uh, before we talk about different strategies to co-create success criteria with students, instead of saying like, this is what you need to do to be successful on a formative assessment, how do we define together what are the goals of this formative assessment and what success looks like? And then instead of using formative assessments for grades, using them for discussions, really having students reflect on what did they do well, what they need to come back to, and then using blended learning models to work either individually with students or in small groups to you know, create some feedback loops to provide some strategies and ideas and potentially some direct instruction or differentiated instruction. But we talk about the importance of memorializing that feedback. There's so many times where we'll have a discussion or we'll share something with students and then it's just lost in the churn of working memory. <laughs> and so how do we kind of memorialize that? We talk about strategies like exam wrap and things where students are really thinking about what did I do well here? I want to remind myself to keep doing that in the same context and what are areas where I clearly need to change my, my strategies or the tools that I use so I can be more successful as we move towards uh, the end of a, a learning unit.